Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we are taking on, get this, camel milk chocolate. So this is camel milk chocolate from Mission Chocolate. They're a bean to bar chocolate brand based in Brazil. And while I've covered Mission before, this is a new limited edition bar that technically is only in Brazil. So when I saw it online and I could actually get it shipped to me, I was kind of surprised. And I know some of you are thinking, camel milk in chocolate? really but yeah it's really good if you're lactose intolerant to still have a milky chocolate goodness and it's got a lot of antioxidants so it's quite good for you it's just uncommon in chocolate at this point al nasma is the one brand that's camel milk exclusive but i have seen it from time to time and when i was looking up unusual milks in chocolate it's one of several now there's buffalo milk sheep milk and my all-time favorite goat milk i need to do a video on goat milk chocolate i love it so much all right let's get to trying already I have to say, I always love the wrappers that Mission uses. They're just always so pretty. It smells a bit mustier than I expect from milk chocolate, but not a bad way. Just kind of mushroomy, musty. Cheers. This bar has so much going on. There's a lot of caramely notes. There's some red fruit. There's a biscuitiness. There's even a little bit of tannin and dryness and astringency. And then this hint of a sweetness, almost a... Um, I don't want to call it cloying, but it's not, it's caramel and earth at the end. This is a ridiculous bar to actually explain. I need some more. It's not sweet. It's a dark bar. Even for a 61, this is a very deep, deep milk chocolate. I think if you're someone who likes 70% chocolate and you want like a snacky bar with some complexity and depth, this is the bar for you. I think if you're someone who likes sweeter chocolate, you might find it too intense. I think there's that problem when you think of milk chocolate, you think of it being sweet and creamy and light. And no, this is complex. I've eaten 70% two ingredient bars that are less complex than this bar. It's really cool. And I'm someone who adores goat milk bars. They have quite a grassy yogurty tang. This has none of that. There's probably a little bit of a dryingness at the end that might be the camel, but I'm not going, oh, this is absolutely camel when I try this bar. It's just really good. Like, I want to eat it with nibs on ice cream. So I have to now compare this to the regular 61% dark milk because I find this one a touch dark for me. I already had some snacks. We just got this bar a few weeks ago too. Like, we've been on a mission ordering streak. Darn. Yeah, just right from smell, this is a completely different beast. It smells of red fruit and deepness and yeah, and much, much more of like a vinegariness to it. It smells like I'd expect a 70% to smell. Cheers. It's juicy red fruit vinegary with hazelnut and it's just really creamy. So if you wanted like a dark chocolate but it's soft and smooth, that's what this tastes like rather than what I think of a milk chocolate where it's going to be milk first and then the chocolate note second because it's just so red fruited. Like I'm not really tasting milk in there though I know it's there. It's actually the last ingredient. Given that these are the same percentage and the same rough ingredient composition i don't think i've had two more dissimilar bars in a long time because this one eats like a caramel sweet ride with some fruit notes and this is trying to be dark chocolate uh, i i'm in love this is great i am so sad this is a limited edition i did see comments that it might be coming back but as far as i know it is sold out in brazil and who knows how many chef shop has it's gonna be a small number it's worth it though so with that, I hope you give camel milk chocolate, or hopefully this bar, a try, because I really hope it's not sold out by the time I release this video. I'd love to know in the comments, though, if you've tried it before or tried camel milk chocolate before, what'd you think? And with that, I'll catch you next time.